18 minutes past seven now. People infected with contaminated blood should receive interim compensation, a review has recommended to ministers, because some may not live to see the end of the process that is currently looking into one of the worst scandals in NHS history. Thousands of people are thought to have got HIV or hepatitis C via blood products that were given throughout the 1970s and 80s. Ros Cooper, who is one of them, is on the line now. Good morning. Good morning. It's hepatitis C, isn't it, that that you were infected with? Tell us how that came about. Um, Well, I've got a bleeding condition, von Willebrand's disorder, and because that was diagnosed as a baby, I was having clotting factor products from that point on. Um, I've since learned that every single one of those clotting factor products will have had hepatitis C in it. So I was getting multiple doses from being a baby, um, all my childhood, pretty much. And and when did you find out that, that you had hepatitis C? Um, I found out when I was 19. I was having an operation in a different hospital to my own. Um, and they mentioned hepatitis C as if they thought I knew about it, which I didn't at that point. Um, so that was me finding out. And it was a massive shock, as you might imagine. Mm, it's awful to think that all the way through your childhood, you were being given something that you, you know, that was it essential or the blood product in itself was essential for your disorder and it was actually giving you something else um it was essential but it also wasn't the only alternative and actually um there were alternatives that were safer that if i'd have been kept on them i wouldn't have got it potentially and what what is the impact on on your life of having both those conditions How, how has hepatitis c in particular affected you um Having a severe bleeding disorder is one thing that I have learned to live with over the years. Um, But having hepatitis C was a massive blow because finding out when you're 19 and you're at university that you're more than likely going to die of liver cancer after having it for 20 years, which I had by that point had it for 19, was terrifying. Um, And then to go on and kind of confound the odds and actually live, but to be unable to have children to get to a point where I was unable to pursue my career in IT and ever since then I've been unable to work which was um, a long time ago now almost 20 years ago now and it's affected everything it's affected my ability to have a family which was taken away my ability to work was taken away Um, any sense of a future because it's so uncertain Um, and also how old are you now Ros? Uh, how old am I? Forty-eight. Yeah. So this has been your whole adult life since you since you knew about this. How much yeah. would an interim compensation payment mean to you? Um, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know. I have no expectation of that because um, we've had the report from Sir Robert Francis yesterday. It's 195 pages. Part of that recommends an interim payment, which has been talked about a lot, but it relies on the government committing to doing that, which, of course, we've had no response from the government as yet. There's no sign of when that's going to be, despite the fact they said they would publish that at the same time as publishing his report. So I'm not prepared to get my hopes up on getting any sort of interim payment because... I have had my hopes dashed many times before and it's already very difficult dealing with this without having figures dangled in front of you that then come to nothing. In terms of how important it is, it's extremely important because there are many people who are a lot sicker than I am who are not going to see the end of this month, let alone the end of the year, let alone the end of the inquiry, which is sometime next year. Um, And they cannot rest shall we say not knowing what's going to happen to their families um or their you know if they're even even have a a legacy to leave without having some sort of help immediately so yeah it's it's important and it's a welcome recommendation but seeing it happen is another thing ros cooper thank you very much for sharing your story with us and we will be hearing from the health secretary in an hour's time